Cavaliers and the Heat. Miami clinging to their hopes of making a playoff spot. Fourth quarter, Goran Dragic drains the jumper. We're all tied at 108. We will head to overtime. Cavs down three. Darren Williams, what a game for him. Hits the triple and gets fouled. Four-point play. Cavs will go in front. Next possession, Kevin Love trying to play defense. Fouls Tyler Johnson on the drive. Love fouls out of the contest. Miami takes the lead after two Johnson free throws. Next possession, after Williams missed. It's a good look for what was their best offensive sure. player on the night. Cavs take forever to foul. They finally find Johnson again for the foul. And Johnson would drain a couple of free throws. So we go to the last chance for the Cavs. Channing Fry pivoting. A decent look for Channing Fry as well, but that does not drop. And Channing Fry and the Cavs go down after a valiant effort. So the Heat hold on to beat the Cavs 124 121. Darren Williams, phenomenal in this game. 35 points for Darren Williams, a season high by far for oh, yeah. him. But you have to give the Heat credit for coming back to win this ball game because Indiana and Chicago won tonight. If they would have lost, they would have been eliminated from eliminated. playoff contention. We would have known who the yep. who was going to make those seventh and eighth spots. It would have been the Bulls and the Pacers both winning. Huge game, valiant effort from Dragic and, and, and uh, Johnson and the rest of the Heat. White team. side as well. White had side a double double. He was great, and, and he was a, a real factor in the paint. But, uh, you know, what can you say? I mean, this is, there's a lot of people around the league saying right now, uh, you know, was this really on the up and up to, for the Cavs on the second night of a back-to-back to rest? And be that as it may, you were in, in the crux of this, this game throughout much of regulation, and the Cavs were up. For sure. The Cavs were up most of this game, and you could tell that desperation turned into effectiveness later in this game for the Heat as they closed the gap, eventually – well, uh, getting into overtime and, and then being the better team, executing late. I thought the last possession for the Cavs, they wound up with a good look, but that was not a very well-drawn-up play. I mean, it, it looked scattered. They didn't really know who to get the ball didn't to. Didn't look organized. Did not look organized. I don't know what T. Lou drew up or <laughs> if he drew anything up or what was going on there. But um, in the end, you get a guy in Channing Fry that can make a three with a pivot to a fairly open look. Didn't really even come close on it. And the Heat, I think the Heat deserved to win this game, and they wound up winning it. And now it puts everything yep. on game 82. Yep. So Darren Williams, 35 points, 9 assists, 7 rebounds, but it was not enough. Meanwhile, the Miami Heat, tough win at Washington on Saturday. Won tonight a tough win against the Heat, and they get Washington again, again at home on Wednesday you have to wonder if John Wall rested tonight for the Wizards, so we'll have to see if he's in that lineup. Or do the Wizards want to get some revenge for losing at home on Saturday? But Miami, they still need to win and need some help yep. for them to get into the playoffs.